it is perhaps time to clarify or reinforce some of the messages I've known to be saying for a little while when I'm talking about this greater force or when I'm talking about things like time the least understood feature of our universe also as not just as in its physical features um, or attributes but also um, its meaning I'm not talking about deity a godlike feature I don't think that works like that but also I do think at the same time at the very same time that it means something much more dynamic uh, I don't think there is such thing as fate uh, as such but our actions our omissions and even our thoughts are influencing the future yes there are certain patterns and there are beliefs therefore beliefs are not only essentially and eternally dangerous but also giving us opportunities to use we must not think that unnecessary suffer unnecessary losses unnecessary failed opportunities are part of the picture I start to kind of believe myself that our generation is the very first one which has all what it takes and what's needed in order to remain connected in a enlightened informed way failure to do that will come at a very expensive price I think I've come across only one book so far one body of work so far uh, from the America, um, American um, US of A by the way <laughs> it's not the Americas so the US of A um, when it is noted there is a large number of men who seem to be without gravity they don't seem to have the strength they don't seem to be heard moreover it seems it's women their partners mostly who need to step in and pay for their living they don't seem to be capable anymore but not because they don't the thoughts they don't have the abilities but somehow the gravity the force the power from behind of that had gone great deal of the people here in the UK and particularly in Southeast England um, as I can draw on my clinical experience over the past three decades there is a large number of people who seem to be suffering from the same thing although we don't have a name for this condition we don't have a name for this situation loss of gravity of these people seem to be the case gravity just like time a very poorly understood feature of our universe I mean take as an example um, our moon planet Earth's moon I mean the body of water it can move through this is, well said to be through gravity just think about the tide and the ebb every single day the huge amount of body of water it moves around does not seem to be corresponding with its mass and size and we learned from physics that uh, gravity is uh, corresponding with the mass but it doesn't seem to be the case when it comes to Earth's moon so personal gravity and time those terms I use in a certain way may not exactly be the way as it will be used in the future what I would urge people who ever watch my content so what I would urge to them to do so is to look for patterns as opposed to individual words and their meanings because they change over time so whatever I post right now may not entirely be the case um, or even in agreement with me any at any later date so please do not forget to interpret anything and everything I post and share with due respect
for time and the context, the environment I was in when I decided those thoughts ought to be shared. This is 20, uh, 15th of February rather, 2023 and the shooting is being made in Clapham Common, one of the loveliest parks I'm saying goodbye to. As I feel that whether I want it or not, uh, I need to leave here sooner than later and it may not be the way as I expected it, which is a shame because I think there's still a really good potential and I still would have place under the sun to contribute to the community. We can debate it whether it was lucky or not, but still remains a fact. I was raised in a way that if there's anything, I am here for contribution as opposed to be a burden. Again, I'm not suicidal, I've never been yet. But existing does not mean living. And just because something is not ideal, or just because I did not take certain opportunities or made more than appropriate or less than appropriate decisions, it does not mean that the actual milestone for decision making or the actual problem I was dealing with had disappeared. Moreover, just because I went down in a route that proves to be one way, the need for thinking, the need for contributing does not disappear. It would be great if that does not turn into some kind of pain management, some kind of addiction, as it is very often the case these days. Addiction is not about the actual agent, it's about dopamine and most of us these days, about 70% of the population right now here in the UK are addicted to dopamine. So we need to manage our dopamine levels, we need to manage our ability to work because it's not just about glucose, it's not just about wanting to, wishing to, but there is a biochemical and biological basis to it, answers to be found in the mitochondria, in every single organ we have, in every single cell for that matter we have in our body. We don't know how apoptosis works, we don't know what is the actual signaling just yet, but that does not mean we don't have to deal with the hormonal neurotransmitter and biochemical constellation of living. It would be such a shame to realize that it was too late and going down the route of only existing, which is the pain of melancholy that's not even remotely necessary. Pain is part of human existence and pain is part of human life, but regret doesn't appear to be. So do we have to regret things? Things which we cannot turn around or undo anymore. I'm sad because this is the day for the funeral of Kim or Deborah Turner, one of my colleagues at St. Helier's Hospital for many, many years. I can't be there today, partly because Melinda did not tell me, despite her promises, when the funeral is going to be. And she put me in a situation last minute that would have led to getting me embarrassed 